okay. I'm okay. You hit the wall at 300, yeah, it hurts a lot, and uh, it's not something I wish you to experience. You don't really think what could happen, you just try to contract all your muscles and be ready for the impact. If you have a big crash, it can hurt <laughs> a lot. Okay, let's, let's know if you're okay. Yeah, I'm okay, guys. I've been really fortunate to uh, not have had too many in my career, but yeah, I mean, it takes, a, it takes its toll. We don't have any suspension in the car. It's very, very much the tires, the squidge of the tires. That means your spine takes a lot of compression. Your joints take a lot of compression. Are you okay, Kevin? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. It's not like you really have a dialogue in your head. You just kind of react to whatever happens and make decisions. And those decisions have to be made very quickly. You don't really have time to have like a thought process in your head. A lot of it comes from instinct. When I crashed in, in Russia in 2015, I hit the first wall at 300 kph. Once I hit the first wall, I was going straight to the second barrier for a couple of seconds with no brakes, no tires on the car. And I had a couple of seconds to really brace and, and think before I had the, the massive 46G, 50G shunt. It was not, not fun, trust me. It was um, a pretty tense moment because you don't know what's going to happen to you. you just put yourself in a brace position and, and hold yourself as much as you can. But luckily nothing happened. Formula One safety is very high and, um, and here I am. You want to disappear. You don't want to be back to, to, to say sorry to your people. You've done your best, you did it wrong, you learn from it, and you move on. You just feel gutted when you do come together or you crash because you, you realize you've let down a huge amount of people. If you damage the front wing, if you rip the rear wheel, or if you damage the car altogether, you know there's been hundreds and hundreds of hours being put into those different components and they go to waste. And there's a lot of love and, and energy that goes into that. And so I, I feel guilty naturally, but you can't linger on it. The guys know that you're trying as hard as you can and it's not intentional. So you just move past and try and make them proud next time.